Alright, today being uh, Thursday, June 29th, year 2017, time is 4.45, let this meeting of the Tilton Board of Selectmen now come to order. Please let the record show that all the Selectmen are present. Shall we stand and do the Pledge of Allegiance, please? <laughs> Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And we have some public here. Yes. College board. Would you like to come up? Uh, you probably already are aware that I'm, I'm having a really hard time with my taxes, not only my taxes, everything, but mainly my taxes. Um, I got divorced in 2008, and um, right now this is public. So it sounds like you're getting into something that might nope. be a non public. Nope. But um, so, my question to you has you filled out the application for elderly and yes. disabled tax deferral? Yes. Okay, because we don't have that in front of us. The town administrator. I just is filled out. it out by the deadline. Just okay. Then it probably has a process. I think it was March. Oh, you filled it out in March. I. It was right right before the deadline. Is that only March first or April first? That, that doesn't I matter. I want to say April. You've got it filled out. It was April. Yes. And um, we don't have it in front of us. And so we didn't expect you to be here tonight, so we weren't prepared. But so, do you get out of here? Is that what you said? <laughs> no, I mean, um, no. Here, kidding. you could take a few minutes and just kind of fill us in. But I think it's important that you come back when we're actually looking at the deferral as well. Oh, so that's fine. Does that don't work for sure. you? Is everybody yeah. all right with that scenario? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, okay, Paul, go ahead. I, I just since then. I've broken um, just remember ten, you're on yep okay. ten bones not all at the same time and my youngest son lives with me <coughs> and he's been trying to help me but he's also been being a caretaker so he can't get a permanent job and my income is uh, 1200 $1, $1, $1 a month and um, I'm doing the best I can, and I just right now I'm stuck in a rut, and uh, <coughs> I'm hoping that I don't break any more bones. Uh, the last one was my neck in 2014, <gasps> and other things, but um, and he's been taking care of me, so it's it's really been hard. And I haven't applied for Medicaid or food stamps or any of that. I'm, I'm trying really hard to do it on my own. Okay. <clears throat> um. Um, I received a letter, or maybe I was talking to someone on the phone, and they said, try to make payments. I can't even make payments. I still owe Ryan's oil from the spring. I am. I'm really struggling. Okay. All right. Um, as I said, we'll need to look at the application. Sure. Um, if you want to make an appointment, um, Joyce is back Monday. I should be back Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, that's right. I forgot the Fourth of July next week, the holiday. Yeah. So next Wednesday, if you want to contact Joyce. Um, see where the the application is probably processed. It just hasn't come before us. This sure. appointment hasn't been made. And then talk to her about when would be a good time for you to come in. Okay. And we'll look at it. But I really appreciate you coming in and talking with us tonight. Well, I appreciate you listening to me babble on. That's yeah. what we're here for. That way we <laughs> have all the information in front of us, and then we have a better better understanding of which way or how we can uh, better help you. Yeah. Well, I, I do appreciate it very much. And uh, I, I will call Joyce Wednesday. Okay. 
Sounds Thank good. you so much. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you. This is going to sound a little guarded, but stop with Kim. Over to Kim to license your dog. <laughs> I called you 15 still, times to get you in here. What's today? It's a Friday. Okay. So. We only need that one raise. Cool. That someone told me they needed to. Stop with the This is a Slightman's meeting, not a town clerk's sorry. meeting. That's okay. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. Thank you all. Take care. Um, does this need to be non public? I, I'd like it to be. Because there's some information. Okay, so there's information that would be detrimental or? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know what is it? 91A, Dolphin 3. All right, make a motion to go into non public for, as per 90, yeah, RSA 91A colon 3. Reputation. C. Matters which, if discussed in public, would likely affect adversely the reputation of any person other than a member of the body or agency itself, unless such person requests an open meeting. Damn, this is All right. Just that open the door. Which should discussed in public would adversely affect oh, the reputation. That's it. Okay. Thanks. But unless such person requests an open meeting, is what always gets me. It's probably more de consideration of the acquisition, sale, or release of real property. But anyway, do I hear a second? Second. Roll call vote, please. Yes. 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 Madam Dean. We read. All right. Um, we've come out of non-public because we, I forgot to open a public hearing. So at this time, I would like to open a public hearing pursuant to RSA 31-95-H. The Board of Selectmen will hold a public hearing to receive public comment on authorization to make payments for the 2018A police cruiser from the Police de Special Detail Fund. And there is no public? No, we'll leave it open for no a while. No comments, so we can leave it open. All right, most of you are non-public, as I said, for, for, for RSA 91A. Second. Colon 3C, matters which is discussed in public. Roll call vote, please. Yes. 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 We are red. Red is on. Motion to seal the minutes of the non-public session is obtained to personnel permanently. Second. All those roll call vote, please. Yes. 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 Do you know when we do a roll call vote, you're supposed to state your name? State your name, yes. Um, so, I don't know if you want to talk about this tonight or not. This is Bitter and Lane. John Wokey came in today with a completed blueprint. I had Dari sit in on it. We went over the blueprint. We went over the list of the selectmen's wants and desires. And it's complete except for, don't you like when people say that? It can't be complete if it's except, right? <laughs> <laughs> so what's missing is number four, the town's designated engineer shall review Brook Holding LLC's engineer's proposed road design, drainage structures and facilities, stormwater drainage plan, and wetland impacts. Now, we're not redesigning the road. All we're doing is putting another layer of asphalt on it. Um, so, as was pointed out to me today, <coughs> this print, so do you want to go over this tonight? I asked you that. Do you want to wait till next week? Um, is it time is, sensitive? Yeah, well, kind of, kind of, sort of. Well, we've been holding them up. The state's waiting for... We've been holding them up? Well... I think they've been holding us up. Yeah, I, you know what? You're probably more right. Um, so, yeah, it'll only take me a second to go through this. I have one thing before you. It's the best interest of the project. Um, so if we go through the list, so he's got the two, number one, he's got the two egress lanes um, on there. He's got, that's all there. He's got, the widening is there. He has the sidewalk at the time of the meeting, um, rather than a raised sidewalk. Um, the public works director at the time just wanted it 
more asphalt so he so could just plow the so sidewalk with the tractor. Yeah. So there'll be a demarcation line painted between the traveled way and the sidewalk. So that's done. And I'm skipping the engineering part number five. Um, shall install acceptable final code of payment. So, I mean, that's not on there, but that's agreed to. <coughs> and they do agree to ensure that the improvements installed as specified in this memo and any conditions imposed by the state of New Hampshire to plan of order installed properly and correctly and surety for performance shall continue in the form of maintenance surety for a period of two years after completion of the improvements. So, now, having said that, <clears throat> the question of the engineer. This was designed by an engineer, and New Hampshire Department of um, Environmental Services has also signed off on this. <clears throat> I'm sorry, John. Um, state, no, that's him. It's on here. He showed me. Um, so here is their permit from the state of New Hampshire. I asked them to send this to me, thank God. Permit AOT-1190. Um, qualified project specific conditions. Qualified soil scientist, geology engineer shall be retained to design the soil amendment, blah, 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 blah. But their engineer um, looked over this and approved it. Oh, alteration of a train approval, Wetlands Bureau approval, right here. <clears throat> so my question to you is, do we require, do we still want to require a third engineer to look at this? Traffic counts anticipated. Oh, I don't remember. We, we did see traffic, we had traffic counts you. before. Yep. Do you have, like, Steve Perna look at it to see what it does to that intersection? Um, we have not had anybody look at the intersection yeah. because the intersection... It wouldn't is impact there. on the intersection. <clears throat> Back to TV when we had the accidents trying to turn left with Suicide Alley there. He could DOT. DOT that approved their design to alter the, the ingress into Bitterman Lane. Um, they're making, they're widening it. You know, the interesting thing though is. When they first came in to the planning board, I remember I was there, DOT was going to insist on a light, but they backed off from that. They don't even have a real turning lane. They've widened it so a car could go over there and get out of the traffic and turn down there, but it doesn't meet the official specifications of a turning lane. So I find it interesting that they made those concessions to this project. But to answer your question, there have been traffic studies done. There was one done for Walmart. There was one done for Lowe's. That Lowe's project has been two or three and, and done. And both of those are coming out to signal, <coughs> signalized intersections. Here is a <coughs> signalized one with a two-lane merging to one. They did the traffic that, studies, right that intersection. The traffic studies were done before the, the lights were put in. The traffic study was put in, was done for Walmart before there was a light to come out of Walmart. And part of that study most likely said you need a light to do it. There was a traffic they, study <clears throat> done for this, specifically hired by the, yep. by... There was a traffic study the done for Lowe's before lights. the Lowe's light was put in. To get the approval from DOT. I'm just saying, you're going to see a <clears throat> cross to the PD. We're going to have accidents there. You know what I said? I said they should go and ramp up to buy coals and come up to the light there. Okay, but we're but getting beyond. That we got past the that. This. this got approved. That whole intersection got approved by DOT. We cannot require them to go over private property. I know. So I, I just thought everybody like, agreed. DOT approved that. DOT has approved it. So the question here is do we want 
The town's designated engineer to review the drainage structures and facilities, stormwater drainage plan, and wetland impacts. We don't have one. DOT's done it. DOT we'll is let done. Let them it. take the hit if it fails, because if we hire someone to do it, we uh, bought, take maybe we bought into the liability. Our engineer should have found it. This already go through the uh, conservation commission. This plan, as amended. December 8, 2016 is when they got the approval from DES. So you must have gotten it. I remember when it came through town. But that was a couple of years ago. I don't know if they amended it since then. I don't know if they've amended think, it since then. Probably should uh, CC the uh, conservation function. <clears throat> I was looking for a date. Sixteen. AOT review is done on 11 26 16. No. That's the alteration of terrain permit. So you would have gotten this in 2016. We didn't get that. I think you did. But we, if you want, I can stop this right now and I we can bring it up next week and I will. I'd I'll send it over. I will see if we have it. <clears throat> I mean, they've we, waited this long. They can't. They can, they can wait a week. Between um, Chuck and Bob and everybody else, when they go over those things, I'm in a meeting. They don't miss. I'll call you back. Yep. They don't miss a. Uh, they Children. don't miss much, and if anything. Okay. Um, anything else anybody would like me to do with this? Next week. All right. So next week, I'll write a note to myself. So can I look at it during the week? Yes, I'm gonna leave it on my desk though. Okay. So if you look at, it, would you please look it up up here? Yeah, absolutely. And not run off with it. No, thank no, you. I won't. I promise I'm done. Thank you. Catherine, it's actually on the back of your agenda down at the bottom. I'll just change the date. Thank you. All right. Conservation. Yes. Scene. Okay, so I'm just going to contact Conservation to make sure that they reviewed it. All right, anybody else have something quick? I do. Okay. I'd like to make a motion to accept a donation of $300 to our air, the Tilton's, um, Town of Tilton's Air Conditioning Fund from uh, Raymond and Carol Ouellette. From Laconia, New Hampshire. I put out a letter to the editor and we've gotten funds in and this one is over $250 so we have to accept it. Mm -hmm. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Carol and Raymond Wulek. Wasn't that nice? Do we have a second? Second. 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 Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. Okay, at this time I'm going to close the public hearing um, for the um, payments to come out of the uh, Police Special Duty Detail Fund for the 2018A Police Cruiser. Anything else? Can we double check to make sure that's not, I think that might have been one of the ones that we said there would be two public hearings for. Yeah, will you double check that? I'm almost positive it was one because I'm the one that promised we'd have the public hearing. But it's, the other it's worth checking. Yeah, and you'll read Cameron's report about that. What? You'll read Tim's report about the... Is, does it require two or one? No, it doesn't have anything to do with that. Oh. Do we need to read Tim's report? Um, Any action items? Uh, yes, a motion is needed. A motion is needed? On number two, please. Yes, in your folder. Oh. Um, I, have to, I just didn't have time. June 28th. I move that all finance, financing payments for the cruiser acquired in 2017 be paid from the police special detail fund established by a vote of town meeting in 2008, Article 13, in accordance with RSA 31-95-H. As long as only one public hearing is required? As long as only one public hearing is required. Second. <laughs> Any more discussion? I don't know if, is there a rush? 
Are we getting it in September now? Yes. All those in favor of the motion on the table? Aye. 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 So we'll Anybody read number four, by the way? John? Yeah. Wasn't there, didn't we just get an email last week about this? Yes. Didn't they just put a whole bunch of people in the world? Yep. Some kind of, you know, alert. pay us so we won't fix it? Yep. All right, so you um, verify that that um, only requires one public hearing. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Anything else, anybody? Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Nice job, people. Thank you. I think that's the shortest it's taken us to do evaluation.